Hey y'all, welcome to Morgan Paint Stuff. Today I'm gonna to be doing something a little different. I've been doing my abstract faces for the last year, I think. And if you have followed me for a while, you know that I used to kind of change up what I was doing every once in a while. And in college, I spent a lot of time kind of experimenting with different styles just to figure out my personal style because I thought that I, that is something that you needed to have as an artist. But now growing up, I kind of feel like, and I've discovered that Art is all about experimenting and being inspired by new things and trying new things. And I haven't tried something new in a while. This weekend I was walking through the quarter and I saw this painting and it was kind of just a black outlined head with a whole bunch of paint brush strokes in it. And I was like, oh, that'd be cute. A portrait with my pattern on the inside. I'm kind of just figuring it out as I go along. And I wish I would have taken a picture of what I thought, what inspired me, but I did have a few beverages, so. Forgot to do that. I think this will come out cute. I'm not totally sure if this doesn't come out cute, then I'm not gonna upload this video. So I guess if you're seeing this video, then that means that it came out okay. First step, I did the background. It was just plain white acrylic paint. I used um, a kind of thicker brush because I wanted it to be a little textured. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little bit of texture in there. And then I just drew my girl Twiggy on top of it. And I'm gonna go from there. I don't know why I'm doing a back white background. I hate things with white backgrounds because it gets messed up easily. Like if I'm trying to package and I have something on my hand and I smear it and it just really annoys me. But I don't know, in my brain, I pictured it with a white background. So we're gonna do a white background. Okay, this is the reference photo. This is what I'm going for. But I want it to be not realistic, kind of more abstract. You can still tell it's Twiggy, but the inside's gonna be fun. I don't know. We're gonna see how it works. I'm just gonna start off and just fill in I'm just going in with some shapes. Do, 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 do. If you haven't watched my other video, I always just like to go in with a base. And this is kind of going to map out where I'm putting the other colors and how they're gonna go around. And I'm putting this color on the lighter points. On top of me not really knowing exactly what I'm doing with this one, I haven't done an actual portrait in probably over a year because I've been doing these abstracts like nonstop. So that's another thing. I don't really know if I still have it in me, but I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm gonna go in with my like terracotta kind of reddish orange and do the same thing. But right here, I think I'm gonna go in where the darker parts are of her face and kind of outline that. A little like how I do that in some. So even though I'm not doing it realistically, I'm still using dark colors for the darker parts of her face, the shadows, and then lighter colors for the highlights and everything. I do think I want some white peeking through the back too. And I'm gonna put a lot of this yellow over her hair because she's blonde hair. My little dashes and stuff that I usually do. Hmm. <laughs> Quiet on set. Ooh, ooh, I hate that. Oh no. I'll fix it. Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh well. Okay. Okay, I don't hate it. Well, this is gonna be kind of the hard part because I'm gonna add the blue. And up until now, I feel like these have been kind of fleshy colors. So, excuse me. We'll see where I think that this blue, but this blue is really dark. So like up here in her hair, um, if you can see in the picture, it's very shadowy. So I'm gonna use this really dark turquoise where I want the shadows to go, her nostrils and kind of, and then under her chin right here. And of course her, eyes so i'm gonna use this ears are not my favorite thing to paint if i'm being honest i always hated doing that in college so right here is where she's actually kind of the darkest so maybe i'll do a little line of blue this looks pretty good this is looking kind of cool okay i'm not mad at it Ooh. Ooh. okay trust the process don't like that okay don't like this it's okay This is why I use acrylic because I feel like acrylic is easier to fix your mistakes. When I was in art school, they made us use oil paint all the time. And so I thought that that was what I was supposed to be using if I you know, wanted to do art, whatever. In my experience, I can get the same effects. Oil paint is easier to blend and stuff, but I've never been one for blending. I kind of like to see the brush strokes. This is one of my favorite tricks if it is taking too long to draw. 
back in with um, a little white and add that to my original turquoise and start brightening up some spots. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hmm. And then I'm gonna do what I usually do and just layer, just like under these eyes, I'm gonna do boop, 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 boop. Okay. See, I feel like I need to make it more, you know, mixing together some white with this, make a really, really light blue. Here where the light hits her um, cheekbone, I'm gonna go in. Like that. Okay, I don't hate that. So cute. Maybe. Um, I'm trying to explain what I'm doing, but I honestly have no clue what I'm doing, so. Boop. Cute. Okay. Maybe I should focus on specific things. Like the lips are looking a little. I feel like I'm gonna make the lips and the eyes more realistic than I would usually do. Why are your lips look like that? And then I'm gonna go back in with my coral color that I've been using and kind of layer over that. Yeah. Okay, okay, don't hate, hate it a little bit, but I don't, I'm not, I think it needs to be, I don't like the, I want it to be a little bit more red, but I don't have, you know what? It's Apple Barrel, literally two bucks at Walmart, but I have not found a red that I like more for the lips. Or the way that I work is um, dark to light. So I kind of put down my darker colors and then gradually start adding lighter colors and layering until I get to like the brightest color like would, would be like um a really light pink or a white so it looks like a little too dark there's not that much dimension once I go in with this lighter pink it's going to add a little bit of highlight okay see I think that, that's looking a little better it's this Really light pink again. Do her cupid's bow. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then I'm gonna come back to it. But since I added in this red, I need to tie it back into the rest of the painting. So I'm gonna go back in with this right there. I can use this red for her eyes, which I need to start focusing on. This part is really dark. Because even though that, that turquoise is really dark, it's not super opaque. So I'm gonna bring this down into her eyes a little bit. Okay. And I'm gonna go back in and add, take a shot every time I say, I'm gonna go back in. Ears. So her ears are just gonna look like blobs. I've already decided that. But I hate this part. This was looking good. And I might just have to redo that entire section because now I do not like it. I said this 10,000 billion times, but if you don't like something, just layer over it. And that is what I stand for and what I believe in. Ooh. What's going on right here? Mm. Okay. I can use the yellow right here. This is the lightest part of the hair, so I'm gonna go with some yellow right there. Some white, I actually am gonna add some yellow right here, I feel like that would help it. Boop, 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 boop. What are you gonna fill in the white with? I might just leave it. Yeah. I kinda yes. like it, but I need to not leave, I wanna leave some of the parts white, and so I need to not, I think I'm gonna accidentally fill it up too much. What is on, why is there black everywhere? So now I'm realizing that there's not as much terracotta that I would like there to be. So I am gonna go back in and just add a little bit more of that. Add to this pattern. <sighs> so for the eyes, I already have kind of a darker background with some red and this dark turquoise, but I'm gonna go back in and layer some lighter tones. I'm just so confused. So I'm adding white, making a really, really light blue, and I'm gonna add the highlights, which are at the bottom of the eye right here, just to kind of bring a little bit more light into them. Okay, not mad at that. And there are shadows, so I'm gonna go and do some of, maybe I'll use this dark red as the shadows that are reflecting like into her eyes right here. 
And the whites, I've always learned in like figure drawing and all those classes, all that good stuff, that you know, the whites of your eyes are not the brightest part of your body. So if you're making that your eyes super white, then that is wrong. But I am gonna make these white because I want the white peeking through from the canvas, but I am gonna add a little bit more detail like this little in her waterline. So now I think I'm gonna go in with uh, my lighter colors, which I've been kind of going back and forth, but I do think that I'm going to focus more on bring in more highlights and adding some smaller details, like patterns and whatnot. These are some high points. The middle of her lips. I do not like that. So I feel like I've been neglecting this whole area, so I'm gonna work on that. Right here, I think I'll do like a little square. Okay. Not mad at that. Don't know why I keep doing a British accent. I'm very sorry about that. I'm like, I'm drawing a blank on like what designs I do. What do I do for designs? I'm very confused. I just do a whole bunch of dashes. That's all I do. Oh, some. Hold on. Do some lines. Here, maybe I'll do some of this pinky mauve. Two like, little lines. Why is that so not dry? <laughs> also something that I've been kind of struggling with because I do like it my vision was to have the black outline but I do kind of like it just like this so I might instead just do like the eyelashes the pupils maybe like the nose and the lips and part of the face in black I'm not gonna put too much black and I'm just gonna use my brush that I usually use now this is basically just an experiment so if I hate it then I did just wait a couple hours but you know, you don't know until you try, so. This is stressing me out, but I have to remember that I can always just go back in and add more stuff. It's always hard to take a risk when you're liking where your paint's going, but sometimes you never really know how good it can get. Doing a little flick. I'm gonna go back and fix these people's because they look a little janky, but like it's gonna emphasize it instead of totally like drowning it out. And I'll go in and add some black here going into that. Am I explaining this well? I'm not, I already know that I'm not. I'm very sorry. Do I wanna add little black lines right there or? Okay, I'm kind of into it. Yeah, right? And then I'm gonna add a little bit of white highlight to the eyes. Cause that always just brings it to life. I think we're done. Do we like it? I'm kind of into it. Do I need more white? Y'all can't, can't hear me. Okay, this is her. I think I'm done. I'm kind of very excited about it. It, she looks really cool. I didn't know if I could still do a, um, oh my God, wait. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. Have I had this paint on my face this entire time? Good Lord, okay. Okay, well, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. I honestly, you know, again, get, still getting used to the entire YouTube thing. I'm not sure if I was that helpful or give a good explanation of what I was doing, but hope you all enjoyed being along the ride with me while I figured this out. I really did not know what to expect. I just kind of had this vision in my head and honestly, I think it kind of came out better than what I was expecting. So I'm excited about that. I'm gonna do a collection of things um, in this style. So if you have a person or a celebrity would like me to do, um, please comment that below. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Um, but thank y'all so much for tuning in. Um, I love y'all and I appreciate y'all.